You're listening to The Morning Mix here on 107.8 Beverly FM. And I'm now uh, surrounded by the Colts. Good good morning, Colts. Good morning. Right. Well, so you... Uh, well, I'll, I'll introduce you all first. Uh, first of all, let's uh, tell everyone who we have in the studio. Left to right, although that doesn't make any difference to the listeners, of course. We've got uh, Joey Franklin, who's the vice-captain, I believe. Hi, Joey. All right there. Morning. Uh, ben Smith, uh, the ex-captain, present-day player. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, Kate Dalton, you're the membership secretary. Good morning. I am. Good morning. And uh, Luke Hazel, you are the current captain of the team, I yeah, believe. Good morning. Right. So, uh, welcome to all of you. Welcome to Beverly FM. And uh, let's uh, start off with a look at where you are at the moment, because, wow, I mean, you've had a season to remember. You've won your league in the under-19s category, as I understand. You've reached the semi-finals of the Yorkshire Cup, and uh, you're playing, it's a home match, isn't it, this Sunday at uh, Beaver yes. Park, I believe. So, um, I'll let any of you chip in uh, if you've got any thoughts on this. What... What do you put your success down to? Is it sheer talent? Uh, um, good coaching? <laughs> I'd put our success down to... Uh, we're not, I don't think we're just a team. I think there's something different about us. Uh, we're not just... People say teammates, but we're not teammates. We are mates, and I think that what, that is what makes a big difference off the field, but also on it. It's like when we do get stuck in rough patches, we've all got each other's backs, and we just pick each other up through the hard times and through the good times, and obviously that has led to success throughout the year, this year and last year. And right. obviously we've won the league, and now look where we are. Right. Coming up to this weekend. Fantastic, yeah. So what you're saying, Ben, is that really you just all gel as people, and uh, and I suppose that's important for any kind of team, isn't it? To yeah. I suppose, do you find that you know in the middle of a game you kind of know what each other is thinking, you know, is planning to do? Uh, yeah, definitely. I'd say we all know each other like the back of our hands. We've grown up together playing rugby. Some of us since the age of six, <laughs> um, and we've got some new boys. I'd quite see you, young young boys. But that's just where the older boys shine through, like ourselves. We help them through the hard times and the good times. Right. And right. So you're the, you're, you're the ex-captain anyway, so so you're used to coaching people into into the right way of thinking. And uh, Luke, just coming to you, because you're the current captain at the moment. Yeah. Um, how, you know, when, when you get like a, a new member of the team, because presumably there must be a, a bit of a turnover from time to time, how do you kind of manage to instill that sort of team thought and spirit into the into the new player well i think just as people come into the team they realize that the rest of us are very serious about rugby but we can also have a laugh yeah and so they just you know get behind everyone we all get around them you know include them in other than rugby stuff such as like we'll go out together and stuff just include them in that and stuff and they we all get together right we yeah. are like so. one big family really we, if we do get any new people at any age group we do try and you know Get to know them. them and get to know them and include them in everything we do socially on and off the pitch, really. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's kind of like a an extended family, I suppose, in a way. Very much so. Right. Coming to you now, uh, Joey. You're the present uh, vice captain. Um, I'll come to you first, but you know, feel free to chip in. Most of you, I'm imagining, have ble- been playing sport since you were very young. In fact, uh, the youngest team is what starts age seven. Six, Round about there, six. Yeah, six. Right, okay. So obviously it's been an important <coughs> part of your life for a long time. What's the attraction of playing rugby to you? Uh, just making new friends, I think, mostly. Um, most of my mates I've made from sport. If it's rugby or cricket, I've made through that, really. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. I think also, on to that point, rugby teaches you a lot of life skills. Right. Uh, mm. Such as respect and teamwork, and I think that... I think that's what draws a lot of people to the game, and like football, where uh, no one really has any respect for anyone. Uh, they're all just. <laughs> no, I don't mean to be yeah. biased, by the way. That's just. Uh, I just think <laughs> rugby as a whole it has a big shine on them compared to football, in our opinions. Yeah. And that's what draws people towards the club. And there's so a lot of other benefits as well, such as like <coughs> exercise, yeah. competitive nature Very and stuff. Discipline, discipline yeah. as well, yeah. Success as well. Like we got it this year, and that's made everyone interested. Everyone's mm. wanted to come to training and fight for their place in the team. Mm. Right. A lot of people think that rugby is quite um, a rough game and you might get injured. <laughs> what, what do you say to that? Is it? Well, Ben's a person taught that he's uh, had well, injuries. That, coming on that point, uh, I've played for five years and I've only ever had one serious injury. So that just shows that the success rate that it's not actually that. It is a dangerous sport, but 
it's not there was things in place to obviously prevent the injuries such as a, like head guard protection gear right but um obviously as we grow up we get taught to tackle correctly and everyone you learn the new te the correct techniques to tackle so it's actually not as dangerous as people think and i don't think it should be banned in schools as well no no yeah yeah i've played 11 years and i've never had a serious injury to touch wood Right. Such what? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's great. I think probably people think that because it is, it's such an exciting and fast-moving game to watch. So you kind of think, yeah, it must be. You know, you've got to really throw yourself in there. But you know, I suppose that as a, you know any game, as you say, there are precautions and there are rules there for for a reason. Yeah. You're, You're listening, listening to, to Beverly FM. FM. <laughs> and uh, we're also listening to uh, members of the Beverly Rugby Union Club, the Colts under-19s team, who, as we said before, have had uh, an amazing season. Uh, they've won their league and uh, they're playing in the semi-finals of the Yorkshire Cup this Sunday. I mean, uh, how do you feel about that? Well, obviously, it's a pretty big honour. Yorkshire Cup is not yeah. that easy to get into. Uh, plus, playing against some of the best teams in Yorkshire especially above our league we yeah. think we're the only Division 2 side left in it with Old Broads West Park Leeds and Sheffield mm -hmm. the other three teams so hopefully we can get the right. win on Sunday and go on to the final Right well well, good luck for that anyway um, just coming to you uh, Ben how do you how do you prepare for that do you have a complete day off on Saturday so you're nicely rested or do you train all day uh, no, well, this week the preparation will be different because I'm going to a wedding on Saturday. But normally, <laughs> uh, my preparation starts on a Saturday night. Um, I just like to have a chilled night. I'll try to watch some rugby clips from like the weekend, like just some of the rugby that's on on the weekend. Um, then it comes Sunday morning, get up early, breakfast in, yep. and then just chill out. And when I get there, I'll music in, just get in the zone. Uh, some people are different. Some people like to just be chilled, have a laugh. But others like me, just like to be more serious and. Just right. Get, get focused. Yeah, let's get yeah. in the zone. Mm -hmm. You were saying before about, uh, obviously, you're the, you're the under-19s team, and I should imagine for, for all the younger players in, in the junior teams, they all probably look up to you as, as good examples yeah. of, you know, not just how to play, but, you know, how to, how to behave in public and how to interact and that sort of thing. Do you feel that's quite a responsibility? Yeah, especially on a Sunday morning, they have training before we play, so most of them stick around to watch. So we try and to like cut swear words out and stuff like right. that in training because usually young kids are there watching us. So. Right. We have got, uh, sorry, we've got about two hundred and fifty mini and junior players. So there is a eleven team starting from age right. six up to the nineteen. So there is a, a lot of kids there on a Sunday morning. Right. So this is the thing I was going to come on to. Obviously, uh, we were saying before, uh, children can start at, at a very early age, from, from age six, you were saying, or, uh, or age seven. Um, when, when a new member or player comes along, do they, do they have to be like a good player to start with, you know, sort of show some potential, or do you take them completely fresh? Uh, no, uh, any age, um, any ability of the sport, it doesn't matter. They'll just be taken on board. Coaching will be given to whoever it is and they'll just progress hopefully anyway right so so anyone that's that's interested yeah. and would like to get into rugby just very welcome to come yeah. along maybe watch a bit first yeah, yeah. you know yeah, before fine. they play i suppose be welcome yeah. To the club, yeah. Always, yeah 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 fantastic I mean, even though we're nearly at the end of the season um if somebody did want to come along we do taste sessions for all age groups in, right uh, do, again like jerry said there's no ability issues you can just come along see if you like it and we'll give you a couple of weeks taster trial and can go from there and become a member and register with the RFU and it's end up being like these guys. Right. Well, uh, later on what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll put across the uh, telephone numbers and contact details for anyone that uh, is interested. Just coming to you now, uh, Kate, as uh, membership secretary, uh, there's something else coming up, a, 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 an event that people are very welcome to uh, come along to and we're sure lots of photographers will be coming to as well happening in April I believe what, what's that all about? It's April the 2nd it's our fifth annual ladies day and um, we basically dress the club up all the ladies take over the club for the day and we try and raise as much money for breast cancer as we possibly can and um, the last two years we've been very lucky with sponsorship where the players get a pink kit and the get rid of the green stuff for the day and then we auction that off after the game um, and again that money all goes to to the charity 
Um, it's, a, it's an amazing game. It just gets bigger every year. The first year was 70 people. Last year we were just under about 150 people. Right. Um, it's, you know, the lads all get involved. I right. mean, early days you were waiters and, and now sometimes they're playing a little bit into the senior teams as well. So right. it's just a fantastic day. Yeah, good, a good atmosphere, I oh, should it's imagine. it's amazing. Right. Right, so that's uh, coming up, as we said, the uh, date of that, that's the 2nd of April. So coming up quite soon, actually, when you yeah. think we're midway through it, March it already, is. aren't we? It's uh, Yeah, it's, it'll be brilliant. And then the week after, on the 7th of April, we've got our annual fundraising dinner, which normally we held in a hotel or a venue, but this year we're having it in TPs on the pitches. Right. Um, black tie dinner, so we're really looking forward to that because it's the first time we've done anything like this at the Fantastic. Rugby Club. And tickets are still available for that as well. Right, so I'll I'll give the details uh, for those uh, again later on in the programme. But uh, Kate, uh, Membership Secretary, also uh, Joey Franklin, Vice Captain, Ben Smith, Ex Captain, Current Star Player, Hugh uh, Luke Hazel, the Current Captain. Thank you all for uh, coming in and uh, joining us here on Beverly FM today. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. And good luck for Sunday.